So I did want to get in front of the camera today just to talk to you guys about success. Um, I do have a success story and I understand that, you know, the trials and the tribulations that I've went through, the tests that I have been tested on, I have came out strong. Um, God has changed things around in my favor and, and that comes from being a child of God. You know, once I saw how successful my life could be just by putting my trust in him and just by doing what he wants me to do, just by showing him that, you know, submitting completely to him, submitting completely to him and, and showing him every day and telling him every day how much you love him and how thankful you are just for waking up that morning, how thankful you are for the things in your life, you will see a change. You will see that um, positive attitude come out. You will see those positive connections. Oh, excuse me. You will see those positive connections. Um, you will start to see your life evolve. You will start to transcend onto a higher level of consciousness in yourself because your spirit is connected. You will begin to have success. You will begin to receive your blessings because God is waiting for you. Um, I had my, I had avoided God for so long. I had avoided my Bible. I had avoided praying. And I was going through so much and I was just like in such a dark place. And I was just like, well, it is what it is. You know, this is life. Life happens. Blah, 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 blah. I was very um, Eeyore-y, um, if, if you know what that means. Winnie the Pooh, you know, Eeyore. Yeah, that was me. I was very down, depressed, just saw everything blue, black cloud over top of me. Um, but once I submit it to God once I fully submit myself once I made that commitment to God and just said hey <laughs> what do I do with this God I just reached out to him and immediately it was like my I had a spiritual awakening he was watching me he was listening to me the blessings begin to flow um, I have a success story because of the trials and tribulations that I have been to, through, the test that I have come out successful in, um, things in my life that only God, you know, it was only God, he has turned situations around in my favor. And that comes from being a child of God and having his favor and knowing him and acknowledging him and you know being thankful for waking up this morning being thankful for the little things in your life being thankful for him guiding you um being thankful for him giving you all the needs of your life you know what does the bible says it's a scripture in the bible that says um if i if he god said you know don't do i not feed the birds like what makes you think that i won't you know, feed you or clothe you, my children. You know, he is a father. God is a father. Why would your father let you go hungry? Why would your father, um, if you're sad and crying, why would your father not reach out and give you a hug? That's what he does. He comforts you. And once I got a taste of what he, of what he can do in my life, once I got a taste of, you know, being happy for doing his work, once I got a taste of, you know, the reward that I get, I will never go back to not looking to God. I will never go back to relying on anybody else but God in my life because everything that happened in my life is because of God. All of my success, all of the positive stories, all of it, I give the thanks to the Lord. All of it. Um, and I understand that on this journey, I cannot walk. I have to run because even if I venture off my journey, it only slows me down to my blessings. And I understand that now, which is why I am running on my journey and I am not venturing off too many times. I am not visiting people for too long on my journey because I understand that there are blessings along the way that God will give you to reward you on your journey and to cheer you on your journey and to tell you that you are doing well, my child. <laughs> he is, um, there is a blessing at the end of your journey, okay?
and and when I tell you these blessings that I have been receiving I open my heart I open my eyes and I'm just like wow wow he really does make a way out of no way he really does turn things around he really does um have a ram in a bush for you he really does lead you and if you don't know what a ram in a bush is a ram in a bush is when you don't see no way out and then there it is there's your way there's your way so i really thank god on my journey um and i understand that I am but a vessel for him, working for him. And I understand that this body is um, not my body, but it is to be used for the Lord. And I understand that, you know, the clothes that I have on my back is because of him. I understand that, you know, the home that I'm in right now, my rent gets paid because of him. You know, um, the job that I do is because of him. Um, the the opportunities that I get is because of him. You know, I, I write, I'm a writer, and I understand that the creativity that is in my mind is nothing but the Holy Spirit flowing through me. I understand that me being in front of these videos, the Holy Spirit just flows through me because, um, of course, I, you know, link it to my situations. I link it to my my life. But I also want to make sure that somebody gets inspiration from it. I'm going to make sure that um, that I inspire somebody to want to be a better person. I inspire somebody to want to help themselves. Because life is not just about um, waking up, doing your, your, your duty for yourself. Finding the time to incorporate and balance, you know, everything in your life, like your family, um, your spirituality, your finances, all of that stuff um, goes hand in hand in your success story. So I, I just wanted to say you are successful. You do have a success story, even though you are down right now. It is okay because guess what? You have to get up. And when you get up, that is your success, okay? When you get up and once you um, do what you're supposed to do, once you get on the straight and narrow, that is your success story. The blessings will flow. You are blessed. You are a child of God, okay? A father, he's not just going to leave you. He's not just going to leave you homeless. You, if you lose a job, he ain't going to leave you homeless. He's not going to do that. You want to know why? Because you are a child of God. And as long as you are doing what he wants you to do, he will give you the desires of your heart. He will give you everything to meet your needs. Um, God does not give us more than we can bear. There's 24 hours in a day. God says, cast your worries on him. Cast your worries on him. Okay? He will take your worries. And you don't have to worry about it. He will give you a serene peace of mind. Open your Bible if you start to worry. Pray if you start to worry. Say, Lord Jesus, take these worries away from my mind right now, God. And bless me yet the more, God. Help me so that I can focus on the task at hand right now, God. Tell me what you want me to do, God. And I do it in the name of Jesus. And then you got to actually do it. And you will see those blessings flow. You will see that that he is working in your life and you will see that he has a plan for your life god has a plan for your life he has not forsaken you he is waiting for you he is watching what you are doing and he is sending messengers along the way to let you know that he is waiting for you and that he wants you to come back to him and hold on to god's unchanging hand because he will guide you out of your out of your situation right now that has you down that has you depressed that you know you might be around people that you can't get away from people who put you down people who criticize you people who tell you that you're doing the wrong thing and you might start to feel that in your heart but i just want you to know that there is a purpose that you are in that situation and god if, if that situation does not work out in your favor god is using that situation to work you out god is using that situation to build you up and god wants you 
to be built up. He wants you to be able to use your situation and he wants you to be able to inspire others. He wants to help you do that, okay? Because <laughs> your situation, your situation is not you, okay? That bad situation that you're going through, may be a, it may be a reason, okay? And it may be your purpose later on to reach out to somebody, to do advocacy, to do outreach ministry. That's what I do. I do advocacy. I do outreach ministry. That is my purpose. And I use the situations that I have gone through personally to help others. I use that as a way to reach somebody's heart i use that as a way to uplift somebody okay so if you're up and that person is down and you can't help bring them up then that may be an indication that you need to let that person go because god does not put burdens on you okay so don't be burdened by thinking that you can help this person that does not want to help themselves okay put yourself in a position of power Put yourself in a position of elevation to transcend into your purpose and, and surround yourself around people who are listening to you, okay? Surround yourself around people who who want to better themselves, okay? And 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 see what your work does. See see how you motivate people, see how God works in their lives, okay, because of you. See I want you to know that you are successful. I want you to know that you have a success story, even if you are down right now. This is your success story. God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for your life. Just hold on to him. All right, don't give up. Keep your faith and stay on your journey because there is a reason why you are in the situation that you're in there is a reason and there is meaning you are powerful beyond words and i just wanted to say have a blessed night y'all i'm going to bed <laughs>